What's going on guys? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. And man, we got a lot of work to do today. Got my work hat on. Gonna be spending a lot of time out here. Got about 10 acres to mow, so let's check it out. Now, as you guys can tell, there's not much trimming, a lot of open space, but a lot to mow. We got about 10 acres out here. It takes two mowers about four hours non-stop mowing. Now, this is just part of the lawn. On the other side of the house, there's a whole lot more to mow. So, uh, man, we better get the mowers unloaded and let's get going. Right now I'm starting off with the Ferris Z3X. We have the 37 horsepower Vanguard with the 61 inch deck. Right now I'm going solo about an hour. My worker's going to show up. He'll hop on the Toro, but let's get going. So here's what I've been able to do so far. A lot of grass to cut, but uh, I'm making a I'm making a dent in it anyways. So the story behind this property, uh, some family friends own this property and they're looking to sell. So they've been able to maintain it up until this point. Um, they usually mow it every week. They had a tractor with a little finishing mower and some wings. And I think it was like nine feet wide or something crazy like that. And they were able to take care of all this. Uh, up until last year, I think they got a skag mower so they got the zero turn now out here on it taking care of it but uh, they've been too busy to take care of the lawn like i said they usually mow it every week but uh, we've mowed it a little bit in the past maybe a few times this year but uh, we're out here we're trying to get it done for them trying to make it look nice we haven't had any stripes on this lawn so uh, that's what we're trying to do today we're trying to define those stripes a little bit make it stand out and hopefully get this house sold for them Hey, we got this side over here mode um, man we had to double cut it to get those stripes to find I don't know if you guys know quick and clean lawn care down in Louisiana but uh, Blaine tropical storm Blaine is what I'm gonna call him hey he's sending us some rain this way so uh, I'm gonna go to the back see if we can get this finished up but uh, rain looks like it's setting in maybe done for the day
got a little rain coming on down, man. I don't know what it's going to do. It'll it'll kind of shower for a minute and then let off. So I'm going to hop back on the mower, see if we can get this side mode. I got my buddy over here. He's mowing the back. Let's see what we can get done. And it's getting a little sticky on the tires, but uh, it's not clumping up, so we're going to keep rolling. Check out the tires. Got all the grass stuck on there. Nice. But no clumps, so we're going to keep on rolling, keep on mowing, and hopefully we can get this done before uh, some more rain moves in. Man, God provides. Hey, I don't know how we did it, but we got this lawn mow, got it finished. Now we're going to hop on the trimmers and trim around a few trees around the house, along the driveway. That's the main part. Uh, that driveway is so long. There's so much to trim there. But, uh, hey, thankful that we got the mowing done. Now it's time to get busy on the Echo 3020. Now kids, this next part, don't try this at home.
you ever have the one of those really good ideas and then when you go to do it you're like that was a really dumb idea <laughs> that didn't work at all now let's do it the right way <laughs> Now let's do it the right way. We're going to flip the trimmer up and do a little edging along the driveway here.
that's my buddy Josh over there with blessed lawn care over there mowing on the Skag mower. He's thinking about going to the GIE this year still. I don't know, kind of on the fence maybe. I don't know if he's going to go or not. But uh, if you guys think Josh with blessed lawn care should go to the GIE this year, let him know in the comments below, guys. Man, when you're trimming a driveway this long, you're going to run out of trimmer line. That's all there is to it, man. I've been trying to go up and down this uh, driveway. Hasn't been trimmed back in a while, so a lot of overgrowth. And man, I just ran out of trimmer line. Let's check out the Echo Speed Feed, see how quick I can get this thing loaded. Hey, that wasn't bad at all. Got the new trimmer line in the speed feed head. It's time to keep on trimming the driveway. Let's go. I'm not too sure that's ever been edged. How you guys get it to mow without the clumps? Oh man, you just have to double cut it. Really? Yeah, I double cut it all that. But uh, the higher the horsepower, you know, the bigger engine you have, the whole lot easier it is to do. That uh, 37 horsepower, so it'll move good pretty good. Yeah. You got multi blades on that too? Uh huh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Got multi blades, and uh, as long as you cut it every week, it'll stay nice and clean. But if you let it go any longer, you got to double cut it. Yeah, that's. Uh huh. Like a lot of times, if you go over that once, if you'll raise the deck up about a half an inch and go at a different angle, it should just spread all that out. Really? Yep. That's what I would do. Because I just bought that mower, and I had a little 42 inch cut, and it does the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. But right. I bought that bigger. Oh, is that a 60? Okay. What size engine does it have? 24. 24? Yeah. Yeah, if I were you, I'd just blow it one way and then raise it up. Normally, it. I don't have that problem. Uh-huh. do that. But right. I guess it would blow away up. Well, it's been so humid that the grass is so moist so much. It has to dry out. Like, I'll blow all day and all so, so dark. And then when it's dry out. Yeah. So. Well, you guys out of it. Probably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you guys see how far that driveway is? I'm not about to walk all the way over here with this blower. We're going to take the Z3X, we're going to go around, and we're going to blow the driveway off. It is way over there, man. This is going to be much faster.
I said it last time, I'm going to say it again, kids, don't try this at home. So we got the stripes laid, we got everything trimmed, driveway blown off. Man, it's time to get out of here. Hey, I'm Cameron. I'm with The Lawn Care Life in Missouri. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel and watching the video. Um, hope you guys have a blessed day, and as always, God provides. So we're rained out for today. I thought it'd be a good idea to check out this package, see what we got. Looks like it's from Echo. So what could be in this box? I don't know, man. Let's find out. So I have no idea what's in this box, but let's check it out. Looks like we got some Echo Red Armor Oil. Oh yeah. So I've heard a lot of good things about the Echo Red Armor Oil. What about you guys? You guys, have you guys ever used this or uh, something you may want to try out? I don't know. In the past, I've always used, always. I mean, I've been in the lawn care business for like 17 years. And I've always used the Steel HP Ultra Oil. It's been a really good oil for me. Um, I haven't had really any problems with it, but uh, they keep on talking about this Echo Red Armor. A lot of guys talk about it. They say it's really good. Um, it works really good in their equipment, makes it run smoother. And actually they've noticed a difference. Uh, maybe some of that older equipment that they've ran some different oil in and they swapped it out and over time, uh, the Echo Red Armor Oil has really cleaned it out and made it run a lot better. I don't know. Um, I can't say for sure if that's, uh, if that's a positive statement, but that's just what I've heard. Uh, I'll have to try it out for myself and see. But so far, um, this season, I've been using the Echo Red Armor Oil. It's, uh, it's been really good oil so far for me. I mean, you, only, you know, we're uh, only three months into the season, so we'll have to see uh, how it holds up over the long term. But so far, so good.
Let's check out and see what else is in this box. We have the Echo You Can Maintenance Kit. It's a tune-up kit, comes with a fuel filter, spark plug, air filter, Echo. Appreciate you guys sending that out. I'm sure I will need it before the end of the season. You know, I really like this idea that Echo has come out with, with the You Can Maintenance Kit. You got everything you need, you know. Maybe you want to tune up your uh, equipment at the beginning of the season, maybe again in the fall, a little later on when you get some hours on it. Uh, you just pick one of these up, pop it in, and uh, just keep on running. Now, what else do we have in here? We have some Echo Black Diamond Trimmer Line 0.105. Have you guys used the Black Diamond Trimmer Line? And if so, what do you think about it? Because I honestly don't know. Um, I've used it a little bit, uh, just the sample that comes in the uh, Echo Speed Feed heads. I've used all that. It works good uh, from what I can tell, but I haven't used it over a long period of time. Uh, the trimmer line that I've used for the most part is the Oregon uh, gator line, the round gator line, 0.095. That's what I usually use. I have a whole spool of it in the box truck, and uh, it's getting a little low, so this will come in handy. I'll definitely uh, try it out. Also, 253 feet of 0.095 black diamond from Echo. So Echo, I appreciate you guys sending out this uh, these products for me to test out and try out, and just kind of you know get the product in my hand, try it out, see if I like it or not. I don't know, it may be junk, but uh, it may be really good. I'm really, I'm really um, looking forward to using this Black Diamond Trimmer line. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but uh, like I said, honestly, I can't tell you good or bad because really I haven't used it uh, that much. I really like the Oregon Gator line, the round Gator line. It's worked really good for me. I've used it for a long time now. Uh, like I said, I've been in business for like 17 seasons and I've used that line for the most part. So it's been really good to me. I just buy the big spool of it. It lasts for a pretty good while, but uh, definitely looking forward to trying out this uh, Echo Black Diamond trimmer line. But if you guys have tried out either trimmer line, let me know what you guys like best. I'd like to hear you guys' opinion and uh, hear from you and just kind of get an idea of what everybody else is using. So guys, I appreciate you checking out this video. That's it for now, Echo. Thanks a lot for sending this package out. I'm going to try these products out and uh, hope you guys have a good one. Now, real quick before I go, I want to show you guys that Oregon Gator line that I've been talking about. Um, some of you guys may not even have heard of it. A lot of you guys I know have used it probably and heard of it at least. But let's get in the box truck and let's check out that trimmer line. So I have the Oregon Gator trimmer line. It's a little dark in here, but hopefully you guys can see it. Comes in a spool like this. It's kind of clear color. But yeah, I really enjoy it, really like it. Got a whole spool here, so uh, it's lasted a while. But uh, definitely looking forward to trying out the Echo Black Diamond. So if you guys would take a second to let me know what trimmer line you guys use. I've always used the Oregon Gator line. Gonna try out the Black Diamond from Echo, but there may be something else out there that you guys really like. If so, leave it in the comments below, man. There may be some guys that are just getting started or maybe they're not satisfied with their trimmer line. They wanna try something else. It's good to hear everybody's opinion. So drop them in the comments below. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thanks again, have a blessed day, and as always, God provides.